charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. You know what I need? Like, is there headphones out there where I can just listen to the game? Because, like, it's hard to listen and lower this down. And then try to do everything. You know, like... Smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Now we're done. Let's go talk to the old lady. But yeah, there has to be like headphones out there, right? Because like me, me, I don't know. Because I'm trying to listen, but I'm also trying to talk, and I can't listen because I lower down the volume so it doesn't go into the microphone. It's kind of like, kind of hard to do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm talking to this old lady. What up, girl? We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Uh, possible suspects. So, you, who, who do you think might kill the girl? Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband. Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. Oh, if I killed divorce. every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Young man, both you all look old. What do you mean, young man? Whatever, that's not my look. She gave me a straight ass face. She ain't looking away. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was seventeen. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, moment of the victim. So, the chick. Where did she go? Like, last time you saw her. Shit like that to make you want to know what I did. Blah, blah, blah. 62, you're old. You probably forgot. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around 9. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Yeah, I wonder why. Look at, that. look at me. Just look at me in the eye. You were that so truthful before, but that gone all the way. That's gone. Now you're looking down on the ground like, mm, what did I do wrong? A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? That's what I'm saying, fellas. I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. El Dorado. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Uh, evidence of breaking. So, do you know someone broke into your goddamn apartment? House, housing projects over here? Boarding house? As you would like to call it in my little person of interest. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. I have no idea. Do you know there's a broken window in your room? So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. That's some weird ass tea. I just was just looking at him. Anyway, breakdown of marriage. What happened in the marriage to make them go all crazy? I want to know. You already know apparently because you nosy and you old. So that just means you're a stereotypical nosy person. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. Yeah. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Look, she thinks she's telling the truth. Oh, but not then she looked down. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Uh, where's this bracelet at? In her wedding there photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? 
she never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Um, we can either front angle, seeing as the finger is pointing right at him, or we can check out the El Dorado bar. Let's go to El Dorado's bar, or Dorado. And seeing as uh, the little old lady is all I'm thinking it's him. We should might as well just arrest him already. Cause that's it. There's no proof no more. No proof is needed. Old old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. Wow. God damn it, ain't that the truth. Wow, that card just hit me. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good, real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Amazing. It's because he's a... anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, though. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself in the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Oh, what the? Wow, they're literally right next. Oh, well, that makes sense then. Got to a bar, walked across the alley, and died. I didn't. I didn't see like what the replay was. I want to know what the replay was. I want to see her die. If that makes. Any variable sense over here. I'm not trying to sound bogus or anything. Just want to see her in a situation. Yeah, get around me. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> do you know her well? <laughs> that expression. Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. I find that hilarious by his expression. He's like, oh shit! By hand. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was gonna show him. Uh, whereas Antonio Mandana did on the 8th day of August 1947 prefer her petition to that she might be divorced from the bounds of monetary and entered into with you, Angel Manadaro. We do therefore commend that Angel Manadaro that said, defendant, that setting aside all business and escape to whatever you be, you be and appear in your proper person at the Central District Court of the Supreme in the Superior Court of the State of California on Wednesday the 17th, day September 1947, next to answer the petition of divorce from the bounds of, I can't even say that word, on the grounds of cruelty brought by said Antonio, Antonia Mandalondo, and to show, because if you have any, why the said plaintiff, Antonio Ma, Ma, Mandalando, your wife should not be divorced, I think I messed up that word, from the bounds of, I can't say that one, witness, Han Earl, Brandom, judge of our said court of California, the 11th day of August in the year of our Lord, 1947. Why couldn't they just say 1947? I don't know. I will never understand, but that's not my business. Let's get divorced. Wow, that was quick, real quick, dude. Just like, boom. What up, though? All right, so Miss Jewelry, where at? Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. 
Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I'm looking at that girl. It looks like she has weird ass hair. Is that a girl over there? Like, she looks like she has a mohawk. It looks weird. I'm not even looking at this dude, even though he's looking at me but then looks away. So he's doubting because I don't have any proof to know that he's lying. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay. Um, movement of victim. So, where did she move? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? Woo! An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Broad nine. That's amazing. What, did you read? Oh, is it a girl? Yeah, it's just, it's just weird as hair then. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexicans love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. He's running away. Get him! Where's that goddamn? Wait, I know this thing's right across the street, so I might as well just go into it real quick. It is not right across the street. That is over there. Let's just run. Why can't we run? I demand a run. There you go. Boom. Amazing. We got there super quick. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Amazing. All right, let's go back to our car. Even though I knew this, I wanted to have the little cutscene. I wanted to know everybody knew what was happening over here. That it is closed. And just because it's closed doesn't mean nothing can happen. All right, let's go. Mandorio's residence. That's my beep. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, man. I don't got all day. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Oh, uh, what? That, that doesn't make sense to me. Meaning she died in the bar? Is that what he means? Like someone... She was talking too much, so someone killed her in the bar? Because that's how I see it. I, I don't see it any other way. Wow, this thing is like super close to where everything is, I swear. It's a little driving, a little driving, a little driving, a little driving. Uh, even though I think he's here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there you go. We're walking. Maldonado is in apartment 304. Oh, I saw Angio and I thought 305 automatically. Why does it look like a good apartment? It looks pretty good. I think it's just me though. Let's go. To the third floor. That's the first. This is the second. It's up to the third. Where it was stopped, nobody knows. Let's go. Nobody wants to hear Kimo well, saying this that. Could oh. turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. 
Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Now I lost my hat. I got nothing to say. Boy, whooping that ass. I'm whooping it. Oh! Boom! Mexican dude was the hardest person to ever fight. Oh, is that just like, oh, you knocked his ass out. Too bad I didn't get to see it. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Ma'am. Finbar. Ha! <laughs> That's his name? What's a weird-ass yeah, name? Badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I killed my own wife? How's Phelps gonna be a little pussy right now? He just beat your ass. Going over, then talk to the neighbors. Let's pick up our hat. Okay, we picked it up already. That was quick. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> That's the only thing he's worrying about right now. He's got food in here. That's why it was in his room. He was eating that food. All right, let's see what we got here. There's nothing in here. Uh, this is already been open. Amazing. This is an amazing view right here of, uh, the three houses. They both open outwards. What else we got? What else we got here? Nothing. Nothing. Beer. Right here. This will take some explaining. Obviously, it's his blood. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Oh, you don't know that, Finbar. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. It is. 